Okay, this is a sagittal slice through the amygdala and the hippocampus, and I'm going to point out various structures, starting with the cerebellum. Here's the cerebellum right here. And we have the anterior lobe, which would be right here. And then the primary fissure, which would be right there. And we can see a little bit of the dentate nucleus right here. And then I'm going to start off by pointing out the hippocampus, which is right here, central for memory processes and a part of the limbic system. And right here we have the amygdala, which is also a part of the limbic system responsible for emotions and fear. And then we have the lateral ventricles right here and choroid plexus, which is responsible for creating CSF right here. And this structure is the thalamus. And just above the thalamus, we can see some of the caudate nucleus of the basal ganglia. And this would be the tail of the caudate. And we can start to see the head of the caudate nucleus right here, as it's forming right here. Now, this big structure right here is the putamen, which is a part of the basal ganglia. And we have the globus pallidus right here. We have the external segment right here, and then the internal segment right there, which is also a part of the basal ganglia. Then we have the internal capsules, which are a bundle of ascending and descending fibers right here. And we can see a little bit of the claustrum right there. And this would be the anterior commissure, bundle of white fibers, axons, connecting both hemispheres. And it looks like that's about all the major structures I'm going to point out in this section.